today let's take up the topic shares issued for consideration other than cash now whenever a company purchases some fixed assets or acquires a business and makes the payment to the supplier of the asset by issuing shares it is called shares issued for consideration other than cash so we can put it like this in a company purchases any fixed asset or acquires a business and makes the payment to the vendor not in cash but by issuing fully paid shares it is called issue of shares for consideration other than cash now here the basic thing is you have to calculate the number of shares that is issued right now supposing uh i'll take a small uh, question here a company purchases a plant a, a machinery for rupees 2 lakh 70000 and the payment is to be made by issue of shares of rupees 10 each <clears throat> find out the number of shares issued in each of the following cases now the first case is when the shares are issued at par when the shares are issued at discount of 10% and at a premium of Twenty percent. Now, <clears throat> the formula for calculating number of shares issued is the purchase consideration divided by the issue price of the share. Okay. Now let's see in this question. you are saying a company purchases a machinery for 2 lakh 70000 so the price of the machinery that is the purchase consideration here is 2 lakh 70000 and the whole payment is to be made by issuing shares of rupees 10 each by issuing shares of rupees 10 each right so now first of all i'll take the case of at par the issue price of the share in this case is equal to 10 rupees right so the number of shares issued will be equal to the purchase consideration is 2 lakh 70000 
divided by the issue price of the share that is 10 rupees so here the number of shares issued will be 27000 shares right now when we do it at uh, the next one was at a discount of 10% now at a discount of 10% that is equal to 1 rupee 10% of 10 rupees is 1 rupee so basically here the issue price becomes equal to 9 rupees so the number of shares issued in this case will be 2,70,000 divided by 9. So that comes to 30,000 shares. Same way for the premium. The premium is 20% of rupees 10. So it's rupees 2, right? So now what is the issue price of the share? Issue, issue price of the share is equal to 12 rupees. So the number of shares will be calculated as 2,70,000 divided by 12 which will be equal to 22,500 shares right now this way this uh, number of shares in each case is calculated now I'll come to the journal entries in each of the cases now first of all the purchase of the asset so now machinery is being purchased so we will write machinery account debit to the name of the vendor is not given here if the name of the vendor is given then you can put the name of the vendor here I will just write to vendor account to vendor account the whole amount 2,70,000 right Okay, now shares issued on par at par, right? Okay, so now you will write vendor account debit to equity share capital account or to share capital account. Now look at this here, this is being 27,000 shares of rupees 10 each issued. Right, so that is 27 into 10 is 2 lakh 70 thousand. Okay, now for the second case, this is this is the these are the two journal entries for uh, the uh, shares issued at par. Right now, for the second one that is issued at discount, the first entry that I have put here this will remain the same for all the cases only this one the second one is going to change so I'll put it here this is uh, for the discount right here we'll write vendor account debit discount on issue of shares account debit to share capital account now look at this here this is basically uh, we did it here how much 30,000 shares right so here you see 30,000 shares of rupees 10 each right issued at a discount of rupees 1 rupee 1 right so basically what will be the share capital the share capital will be 30,000 into 10 remember that share capital will be 30,000 into 10 that will be equal to 3 lakhs 
right? So in share capital, you will have 3 lakhs. Now, what is the discount? The discount is 1 rupee. So 30,000 into 1. So that comes as 30,000, right? And vendor account will be 30,000 into 9 rupees, which is 2 lakh 70,000. Okay. So now you see the debit side is 2 lakh 70 plus 30, 3 lakhs, and the share capital is 3 lakh, right? Okay. So whatever is the number of shares that into the face value of shares that will go into the share capital account. Now let's come to the third case that is the premium. Again I said the first entry will be the same. Asset account to vendor account, machinery account to vendor account. Now let's come to the issue of shares. Vendor account debit to share capital account to securities premium reserve account. Now here you see, we calculated the number of shares, 22,500 shares of rupees 12 each, right? So here basically it is 22,500 shares of rupees 10 each issued at a premium of rupees 2, right? So if you do this, This is, uh, see, in the share capital, you will have 22,500 into 10. What is that? 2,25,000. So, share capital will be 2,25,000. Now, what is the premium on each share? The premium on each share is 2 rupees. So, 22,500 into 2 is 45,000 rupees. So, now in this securities premium reserve, you will have 45,000. And basically, this one, the last, that is the vendor account is 22,500 into 12, which will come as 2,70,000. This is how the journal entry will be passed for this. Okay. So, first of all, we will have to calculate the number of shares issued by taking into account the purchase consideration and then the passing of the journal entries. That is what is important here, right? Okay. Now, there can be questions in which uh, part of the amount is paid in cash and uh, the balance is paid in Pay, uh, balance for the balance shares are issued right so we can have uh, like something like this supposing I have this pile and company purchased assets from Parul and company for rupees 4 lakhs right they paid rupees 1 lakh by check and issued uh, equity shares of rupees of rupees 10 each at a premium of rupees um, let's say 2 
for the balance amount. Fine. Journalize the following transactions. Now see, first of all, what is the purchase? First of all, the uh, uh, first entry is assets account debit to Parul and company. The total is 4 lakhs, right? Out of that, we are paying 1 lakh by check. So, Parul and company debit to bank account 1 lakh. Now, what is the balance amount? The balance amount is 3 lakh. That is, uh, for that, equity shares are issued. Now, this is, see, now the purchase consideration we will not take as 4 lakh. The purchase consideration we will take only as 3 lakhs. And the issue price of the share, issue price of the share is how much? 12 rupees now. Right? So the number of shares issued, the number of shares issued will be 3 lakh divided by 12. So 3 lakh divided by 12 this will be 25,000 shares, right? So, here I have 25,000 shares. Now, what does it amount to? It says 25,000 shares of rupees 10 each issued at a premium of rupees 2. That's what it comes to. So, what will be the journal entry? The journal entry will be Parul and company account debit right to share capital account to securities premium reserve account okay now look at this what will be your share capital the share capital will be 25,000 into 10 which will be 2,50,000 and the securities premium reserve will be 25,000 into 2 25,000 into 2 is 50,000, right? 2 lakh 50,000 will be the share capital. 50,000 will be the premium reserve. And the total will be 25,000 into 12. 25,000 into 12 will be 3 lakhs. This. This will be the journal entry for this. So, we have three journal entries here. The first one is asset account debit to Parul and company for the purchase of the asset. The second one is Parul and company account debit to bank account. The payment that is made by way of check, right? And then the issue of shares. So, with that, I will come to the end on this uh, shares issued for consideration other than cash. Now, next session, I will take up a question in which we will be uh, seeing how shares uh, are issued when business is acquired. So, journal entry for that, I will tell. And then we can move on to four feature of shares. So, with that, I come to the end of this session. Bye.